Hello there, everybody, and welcome to the Web Bull Trading App, the newest free zero commission trading app on the market, which completely rivals Robinhood. And we're going to go through this a little bit and I'm just going to show you how it works, why it's better. Now, Robinhood itself is a good free zero commission trading platform, but all it's really good for is zero trade you know just not paying the fee for the trades aside from that they don't give you really good insight into the stocks that you're investing in you kind of have to do a lot of your own research um that that's the trade-off to not paying for uh any extra due diligence um, or being offered any information aside from that however just launched this week uh, this program is called webbull and webbull is a uh, program that I usually used alongside Robinhood. Since Robinhood didn't offer a whole lot of information on stocks, I'll just go ahead and show you some of the information that's available. Let's pick a Mosey right here stock. Now there's charting on here, which we'll go over in a little bit. But uh, what, uh, what it will provide you is over here on the right side of the screen, it's gonna provide you with uh, trades and you can look at them. It updates as they go through, and you can go all the way back on the day, and you can scan forward to what's going on now. Uh, also down here on the bottom, you have your bid and your ask spread, so that's pretty good to have. Um, down here right beneath the chart in this area, you can click on that, and you can change to volume candlesticks, or you can also change to cash inflow, and it tells you whether it's a uh, you know, cash in the stock is coming in or going out on the day. So that's a little bit useful information. They give you key statistics down here, but it goes a lot deeper than that. They give you news. They have a little uh, comment section for people that want to talk. It's, I mean, it's kind of like a stock twits thing, but not really because not a lot of people are using it right now because nobody knows this program exists and how good it is. They give you press releases, uh, SEC filings and things like that, uh, earnings call information. So they give you what analysts are saying about the stock, whether it's a buy or a sell. Um, there's tags down here that we'll discuss here in a little bit, but they tell you if it's an overbought stock or if it's oversold, if it's bullish, you know, bearish. Um, financials, they give you earnings history and you can actually click on that and uh, get a little bit more, you know, kind of block the noise so you can see exactly what you're looking at there. Uh, analysts, as uh, far as growth, it tells you, you know, how the EPS has been over time. It gives you income statements. It tells you their revenue, net income, profit margin. And again, you can click on that and it'll break it down a little bit better for you so you can see what their expenses are, uh, diluted EPS and so forth. They give you a balance sheet down here. Over here on profile, um, they give you some information on the company that you're investing in, tell you who they are, sometimes, you know, what year they started. It tells you what sector that they're in, and then it gives you officers and directors, CFO, you know, CEOs. It gives you institutional holdings. It's got a little notes section if you want to add your own notes on it. But uh, another thing about this is we're going to flip the screen for you now. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to click on this chart right here, and then we're going to flip the screen. So... Here we go. Okay, so this right here is the charting capabilities of this. Now, down here on the bottom, of course, you can see what they did in the pre-market or what they did in the aftermarket, what they did on the day, uh, last five days, last month, last three months, goes all the way across to as far as the stock goes. But down here in the bottom where you see it says 30 minutes on the right-hand bottom side, you can click on that and you can turn the chart into a candlestick chart. And you can divide this into 60 minute time frames, 30 minute, 15 minutes, so forth. Um, over here on the right hand side, for the top part of the chart, you have moving averages, exponential moving average, Bollinger Bands, this new little IC chart, which even though it looks cool, I really don't know what that's all about yet. So I'm going to do a little more research on that. Uh, you can do for the bottom of the chart, you can change the candlesticks from volume to the MACD, you can change it to RSI. And then there's a few other things down there too, but you can get some readings there. So this is very useful as far as charting goes. So definitely gets a, a big thumbs up, you know, on the charting capabilities. So you can kind of make your in and out play and decide where you're going to buy, where you're going to sell. See, this is something that Robinhood doesn't have. They give you a very bland basic chart. It doesn't give you prices. See, this right here 
you can highlight any any candlestick that you want to and if you look across the top of the screen you notice that uh, you know the prices are changing is because it's telling you in that candlestick what the high and the low was percentage change so forth so let's flip the screen back over because there's a few more things I want to show you let's click that X right there and we're gonna flip okay another thing you can do with this is uh, you can hit the search button up here in the top right hand corner and when you're searching it keeps a list of everything that you've searched previously in case uh, you know you were searching from one you wanted to enter but you forgot what it was after a couple days or something but they have a screener thing right up here you can click the stock screener you can create a screener and from this screen you can pick um, and you look at the very bottom, it says 5,053 stocks available to choose from. You can narrow that down by, you know, price to earnings ratio, market cap, the actual price of the stock, which, you know, you can search something more than a hundred bucks. You can do all penny stocks and go by less than a dollar. And you see, I searched uh, penny stocks. We got 157 results and you can click on that and you can sort by the price from highest to lowest or lowest to highest. You can click that off if you want to. You can go by financial indicators. You can search companies with a certain EPS that you're looking for. You can even pick companies that are at a loss right now because some people feel that those have a better chance of growing. Technical indicators. See, this is what I was talking about where um, some of those stocks have technical indicators on them. It tells you which ones are looking bullish right now. You can do oversold stocks, top 5%, hottest stocks. So that's pretty cool. And then down here on the bottom, analyst rating. You can pick uh, stocks that have analyst ratings, however you see fit, strong buy, sell, you know, if you plan on going short or whatever. So another thing here, let me show you this, is that when you first sign up um, to get an account, is they give you a free stock. And you, you can see what I, what I was awarded right here. And what I like about their stock program is that they'll pick a stock anywhere from $5 to $100 for you. And obviously, they're going to hand out more $5 stocks than $100 stocks. But at least you're not going to get one of those little 2 or $3, you know, crap companies that might just all of a sudden turn into $0, you know, by the time you even received it. So you sign up for an account, they give you a free stock. And if you want to talk about trading, you just pick whatever you want to pick right here. I kind of like the trading tool as well, but uh, pick this. You can go to trade and we're going to skip off the screen so you can't see my passcode real quick. Okay, so we're back, and what we're going to look at here, you have, uh, you can automatically just put in a, a market order if you want to, or uh, you can set your limit, and you can do this by hundreds of a penny, or thousands, whatever, but you can click this right here, you can automatically set a bid on, or you can automatically set your bid with the bid, you can set it on the ask, in which case you're just slapping the ask, or you can put it on the last price, or you can enter whatever you want to enter on your own and down here on quantities you can quickly adjust quantities just by pressing the buttons on the sides you know by hundreds you can also click on it and you can go half portfolio in a third a fourth you can do full and it automatically adjusts for you that way you're not sitting there having to count what you have and what you can afford at, based on what percentage of your portfolio that you want to trade with um, now Web Bull does offer uh, margin accounts as well their limit starts at two thousand dollars and of course with a margin account same as Robinhood, you can use the margin accounts to purchase you know pre-market and after hours they don't list exactly what the time frame cutoff is on here so i'm not really sure you know what it is if you can trade as early as 4 a.m or as late as 8 p.m i'm not really sure how that works my god bitcoin is getting its butt chewed right now that it's one of the nastiest looking charts <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm I'm definitely bullish on Bitcoin, but it's struggling right now. So yeah, this is this is a great program. Like I said, it totally rivals uh, Robinhood because, and like I said you don't get a whole lot of tools with Robinhood aside from just the free zero commission trades. This right here is free zero commission trades, but you're getting the spread, you're getting trades as they go through, you're getting company information, you're getting news, press releases, analyst ratings financials you know so i mean this is giving you a lot more tools and it's still free zero commission trading so far and away this pretty much puts a boot right on the throat of robin hood so give this app a try see what you think me myself i just went ahead and threw 50 bucks in here just to just to play around with it a little bit and see um 
exactly what it was all about and whether or not I liked it. You can see right here, you know, what my positions are. I bought uh, Biofarm X today and pretty much just sitting flat on that right now. But uh, yeah, it's it's definitely worth looking at. Another oh, 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 yeah, you can also do alerts on stocks. I totally forgot about that. You can create art, uh, alerts, you can set um, whatever stock you want to pick, and you can go to, uh, you can set it for a price if it goes above a certain amount or below a certain amount. You can set a volume alert if the volume exceeds a certain amount. Like I said, there, there's just so many useful functions and tools on this that you should absolutely, you know, check this program out and see what you think. So, I will leave you at that. I appreciate you guys very much for checking this video out. By all means, uh, check this program out, see what you think. Ultimately, I think it's a uh, wonderful program, and it might just steal me away from Robin Hood. So, um, happy trading, everybody. I uh, hope you have a good week, and don't lose, don't lose your butts. <laughs>